Hi, welcome to CG Taiwaner video tutorial. I am a Chen. In this video tutorial, we are going to model a car hood or a car bonnet with a uh, with a standard nerves function within 3DX Max. So let's um, um, let's get started. First, in the side, um, in the left viewport, uh, go to the um, create panel, spline, and uh, choose line and uh, initial tire change to smooth, drag tire change to smooth, and uh, we are going to. Um, turn down the snapping. Check the uh, grip point, and we are going to create uh, create uh, create a um, side create a curve for the car bonnet. After creation, under the vertice level, adjust the um, curvature. Select this, select this vertice, vertex, and the change type to corner, and uh, adjust the adjust the uh, vertice. Level. Vertex uh, location and change this vertice type to Bezier and um, modify it. Okay, now in the top viewport. First, uh, uh, <laughs> drag this um, curve, the first curve we created to uh, side to the side. And now, I'm going to um, I'm going to create second curve. Okay. Uh, just. Try, try, and try, and try, like so. In the beginning, in the after creation, of course, it's not good, um, but uh, you can go back and modify it. Um, select these two vertices and change type to corner. And um, um, adjust the location of these two vertices and uh, move this um, in the around the y axis. Okay. Now select all the all select the spline and I use the mirror function to make a to make a mirror of this of this um, spline and uh, um, now fuse the ver vertex in the middle. Now, um, we 
make a copy of this curve um, turn on the snap snapping and uh, check the vertices move the velocity to snap it to this curve to the end point of this curve okay now uh, for the last curve we are going to uh, oops yeah as you can see the, <coughs> the curve are not position so turn on the velocity and move this oops move this curve to a proper position okay now in the uh, in the front viewport create a create a line Check the endpoint. Okay. Okay. And um, now change um, snapping to uh, midpoint. And now we are going to we are going to refine this cu this curve in the middle. Right in the middle. And. Um, and uh, I'm going to uh, make I'm going to make a more ref refinement to this curve uh, in here okay and uh, I will um, I think I will I will select these two vertices and uh, change type to corner. And I delete, the, um, delete this supply and uh, select supply again and use mirror to make a copy. To make a copy of it and uh, now. <coughs> use the vertices okay now uh, the four the four ner four curves um, are created and uh, now we are ready to create uh, first service for our bonnet convert any uh, nerves to a uh, uh, convert any sprite to a nerve surface and uh, attach all the curve together and uh, now under the curve and uh, we are going to before we create a surface we are going to uh, join the curve join um, change the join curve type to join 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 join, join together okay now for this curve, join Oops Join No Okay Okay, after join 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 one we are going to we are going to use the the UV create a UV loft surface. So the U surface is uh, left click and uh, after you <coughs> select all the U curve now right click and uh, 
left click boom now you have uh, this uh, you have uh, this uh, very uh, beautiful uh, uh, car bonnet okay so now let's continue let's uh, continue our creation okay turn on the uh, grid point and uh, now go to shape and uh, we are going to create a rectangle oh no um Okay. Uh, change color to white so it's easier to see it. Um, as you can see, it's not in the middle, so we have to use the alignment tool to. Uh, oops. Um, select the car hood. We create it and. Uh, change the pivot to the center and then now <coughs> select the rectangle and uh, align the rectangle to the, mid to the to the middle okay change <coughs> convert rectangle to spline and uh, we are going to Crash it a little bit and uh, move down and uh, select all the vertices and uh, oops and um, flip it. Okay. In the top viewport, I want. I will top viewport move. Oops. In the top viewport move this rectangle forward. <coughs> and now um, um, maybe change the size of it <coughs> and now we are going to create a um, now we <coughs> I'm sorry now we are going to create a circle Crash it, convert to sprite, and uh, move around the uh, what is the ver vertex of the sprite. So that uh, change the shape of this. So this circle. Now scale it. Okay. Okay. And uh, we are going to make a mirror of this and uh, copy. Change the axis is Y uh, and move it. Um, it's uh, roughly to the position. Okay, and uh, select both circle and uh, move it forward. Now, <coughs> in the front viewport, select the surface we have already created and uh, attach all this shape. And uh, now, we are going to use the uh, is, um, where is it? Uh, create a v create a vector projective curve. So select curve first and uh, select the surface and uh, check the train after creation and uh, 
create the check the flip train if necessary. Now in the perspective port, as you can see, now we have a a hole on the on this car hood. Okay. <coughs> So now same procedure. Um, uh, select circle first, and uh, select the surface, and uh, check the train, and check the flip train, and select this circle, and uh, select surface, check train. Okay. Now we have uh, this uh, shape. Or we'll change color to a red color. Um. So after we um stop, um, I want to create a more some more feature to this bonnet 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 um i want <coughs> i'm going to use the uh, create transform curve select this curve and uh, move backward select this curve and uh, oops And now we we are going to use the, the the transform curve and create a create a I don't know how to say it but uh, we are going to create so use the U of to select this curve and select this curve select this curve and select this curve. Uh, Check the auto align curve start. If uh, the result are not sat satisfactory, flip normal. Okay. Um. Okay. This is the um, tutorial. And thank you. And bye bye.